We have a phenomenal success story right here at CEO Space. This is a mentor, a coach, a successful entrepreneur, Mr. Domingo Silvas. How are ya? Doing great. How you doing? I'm good. It's towards the end of the day, so my energy is kind of leaning, but I'm going to pick it up for you, right? Don't worry. Don't worry. I, I'll bring it up. All right. That's all good. Well, let's talk about your big success story. It started right here on a napkin at CEO Space. Yeah, it started about six years ago on the napkin. And then what was fascinating is I was able to utilize the teaching and the training that was going on here at CEO Space to really make that company successful. What is the company? The company calls 11i Solutions. Okay, and what is it? Well, it's actually, what, uh, what we created at that time, it was a technology company working in the commercial and government sector. Since then, it has grown to where we've acquired three companies. And so now it's a holding company that has three different companies underneath it and has expanded to well over 30 employees and just massively expanding from there. And revenues, how much? Well, the revenues right now in each division yeah. is projected to be over 30 million this year. Wowzers right here on a napkin. I just came up with an idea. It's amazing. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great because really the key component of it yeah. is once I came up with the napkin idea, I was able to meet up with the right mentors that needed that can guide me throughout the process of entrepreneur, you know, as we're an entrepreneur. And so when I came up with the idea, I was able to hook up with the mentors here at CEO Space and I was really able to achieve the success that we have. Yeah. And but from there though, I was able to really learn it, live through it and come back and give back. So why do you do all of this? Because I've heard when you come back to CEO space, you're, you're advising people, you're, you're helping them out. Why are you an entrepreneur? Well, see, I truly believe that an entrepreneur is someone who actually masters the collective consciousness. It's about uniting the conscious mind together. And, and so in order to do that, you really have to not only uh, take, you got to give. Mm -hmm. So you got to give back. So the right the right things to do is to sit there and work with others and show them the kind of make sure that they don't make the mistakes that you made mm -hmm. and help them become successful so if you were successful in two years mm -hmm. you should help them be successful in, in you know 12 if 12 they're months. in 12 months yeah. <laughs> not in 12 days no 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 not 12 yeah, years 12 either. hours no, no, no. come on <laughs> no, you can do it in 18 if you really really study <laughs> well right on so so many people right now um, are watching and they are entrepreneurs and um, either struggling in their business and they're very, very successful people. But I want you to talk to the people who have that dream, have that passion of wanting to be an entrepreneur. And you know what it's like. That some days are, are very difficult. Yeah. What is it that you can say to encourage them and to, to be supportive in their goal and their dreams? You know, it's really about dedication and determination, you know, and let you know that you're not alone. There's a group, of a, a group of us out there. There's individuals that feel the same and that have gone through it. So there's individuals that have become successful that really want to give back. So, you know, you're not alone. It, 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 there really is organizations out there online that can really unite you. Yeah. And think about a global platform. We are no longer a small community. We're a global community that's really expanding further. And that's really the key. So you almost have to open up your eyes and see the opportunities everywhere. So, Domingo, every entrepreneur goes through uh, a downtime with their ups. And for some people, and I would say the majority of the people, they feel like they, they, they've got to quit. They're going to go sit in a corner. They're going to feel sorry for themselves. They're frustrated. Tell me about some of your, uh, your times that you felt, if you, indeed you felt any of that. No, I can really relate to that. I really can because as I help other entrepreneurs, I can really see where they came from because I was there. Yeah. But, you know, there's a moment where you just, you know, you just don't know when to, you know, you just don't know, like the world's on top of you right. and you can't get up. Right. The truth is maybe sometimes you need to step out. You need to step back. Just step back for a moment because sometimes we're so clouded and they think that there's only one way to go. Really, there's multiple directions, there's multiple ways and you're not alone as I was sharing with you. So I actually stepped out for a moment, took a look at my business and actually realized things that I didn't see before. So I, well, my suggestion to all entrepreneurs is that just understand that you're not the only one that's going through this. You're not alone. But sometimes, you know, really look out, step out of your business, take a look at it, review it, and you'll be surprised at what, what kind of diamonds you find underneath the rough. How does somebody know as an entrepreneur that they just can't move forward? So should they quit or do they just keep going, you know, you know this, when people don't have funding and they're, they're just living day to day, yeah. how do they grasp that passion and, and to, to create and, and grow that company? How do they move past that? You know what I'm asking? You know what's fascinating is that the moment that an entrepreneur is given an idea, it's theirs to, to own. It really is. I mean, it was given to them from the universe. It was something, that their participation in this global environment. 
So I truly believe that they have every skill set and everything necessary for them to be successful. So you almost have to look about it and say, wow, I was actually blessed. Very, you know, I, I have the, a great position to actually uh, provide something. And so with that determination, you have to move forward. You have to look at every obstacle and say, well, there's a reason why I'm facing this. There's a reason why I'm here. And there's, and there's a solution behind it. So whenever I go into a business situation and I consult with people or I talk to businesses, I tell them, look, for every, for every problem, there's multiple solutions. You just have to understand exactly your situation. You have to understand that gift that you were given and the market that you're pursuing and really go out there and deliver it. Right on. Thank you so much. And thanks for coming back. I, no. Can I be your friend now? Yes, of course, forever. My new friend, Domingo. Congratulations, sir. Thank you.